Hello there, Sean Barton here from Tortoise IT. Uh, in this short video, I'd like to show you my new plugin, Divi Slide-Ins. Now, it's quite a basic concept. As you can see on my screen at the moment, there are four tabs. Um, they have the sort of default style on the black ones, um, but they are fully configurable, so don't worry about that. It's just my styling abilities are not there. Um, and when we click on one of our slides, or when we hover over it, you get a little, you can change the color, change the font size. That one's actually growing by a couple of pixels and changing the background color. And they all do the same thing, different background colors, different styles, which works quite well. Uh, you can click on the tab and it brings the entire slide in. That's why it's called slide ins. Um, in the content of this slide, this tray or whatever, uh, you can use the Divi Builder or not uh, to build uh, whatever you want really. So you can put content in here, you could put social media stuff, you, you could put anything. Um, I think that it'd be a great idea if you're running a site that has lots of additional information. If you're doing uh, WooCommerce stores for instance, you could put perhaps uh, your thumbnails you know, in, in the, a little tray down the side or you could put some related products, you know, view other products and then click on this and it shows you them. You could put the tab information, that'd be really cool. Uh, on any normal site or any marketing type site or a blog, you could have, again, related posts, you could have uh, social media signups or feeds if you like. I've just used it for a variety of like helpful messages and things. Uh, so this one just says hello. This one over here, these ones don't use the page build, I've just thought it'd uh, be good to show you a few default styles. And then one from the top as well, which has just got a bit more information there. Now, to create these, um, we go to our, uh, so we activate the plugin and go to a new uh, post type on the left hand side called slide ins. And I'll just go and add a new one and not do anything to it, and I'll show you what you get out of the box. So if I grab some ellipsum, there we go, and I'll do example for video. I won't use the page builder just yet and I'll paste in a couple of paragraphs of Lipsum. Now this will be a left one, okay? And then on the, we'll say it's gonna be 50% wide, so when you um, when you click the tab, it's gonna take up 50% of the screen and 100% of height, so it's gonna be entirely tall. Now I'll leave all the settings as they are. Um, there's things like uh, the configurable title, and it can change when it's open, so you can change it to a close button or whatever different font sizes, colors, um, little color pickers here, um, visibility settings. So this one, um, by default, it shows everywhere, but turn that off and you can decide on a per page basis where it's going, just on the home page, um, on individual post type items. So if you had a post type for projects and you wanted to show a project specific slide in, then you'd obviously just check the box for projects. Uh, post type archive, so for instance, again, uh, testimonials on my site here. I've got a testimonials plugin activated. If I was looking at my list of testimonials or testimonials archive or my blog archive, I could click the appropriate box there. A couple of responsive settings that will grow quite a lot in the next few versions. In fact, the, the whole page will, frankly. Um, but uh, I've got loads of different settings that you can play with to really kind of configure this as much as you like. Now, when I press publish, out of the box, straight away, it'll work. So let's go and have a look and see what we've got. So it's just loading, there we go. I'll go and refresh my page. It might overlap one of the other buttons, but that's okay. There we go. So one of these click me's, this, this click me down here, I think it is. Typical, I've called them all click me, so I can't tell really. <laughs> so uh, just here, I can click on click me. You notice just the word changes to close and the content is sat there. There's a padding around the outside of the box. Uh, it defaults to, I think, 30 pixels, which is down here somewhere. Here we go, content, pardon the slow loading of this page here, I've got a low battery. There you go, padding 30 pixels. But if I take that off or make it bigger or change it to percentages, um, that'll follow suit as well. So you can configure that. That works with or without the page builder. So if you wanted the page builder layout to go right up to the edge, then you'll see set that to zero. Um, so let's close this. Let's go and configure one a bit differently. So let's change this one now to use the page builder. And let's say we'll have two columns and we'll have text in one and an image in the other. Let's just grab an image at my library. Any image, here you go, unicorn, always a winner. And let's just make sure there's no animation settings on there. There we go, all good. Right, save that. And 
So still left, still there, all the settings are the same. Let's change uh, some details now to do with the trigger. So firstly, in fact, we'll change the trigger to unicorn and we'll change this to, I don't know, close me. Now the tab size, we can make that, I don't know, 18 pixels and 20 on hover. Uh, trigger tab background could be, let's just pick a random color, I don't know, green, lime green and a, I don't know, a brown or a, whatever that is. And then we've got the backgrounds when hovered stuff there. Padding details, location. Now the location is, um, if it's a left, um, if it's a left hand, left or a right location um, slide in, then it's the 40% is 40% from the top of the browser down to where it is. If it's a top or a bottom, then that, that location is from the left. So that would be about 50 or 60% that one there. But it does default, I think, to 40. By all means, change it. That's what it's there for. Uh, and then visibility will um, leave it for everybody else and will hide it on smaller screens. Yes. There we go. And save. Now let's go and have a look and see what this has done. Now with the page builder, because obviously the page builder uh, sections and rows allow you to set things like background colors and anything else inside, there's not really much of a point in using many of the font size settings, the background color settings. That's more intended for when you're using the, the non-page builder version. However, they, they do work together quite well actually. And we'll see here, this is the, this is the first time I've done this in a video, so let's just see how this is gonna go. So we've now got Unicorn. We click on Unicorn and we have a two column layout. Not overly inspirational, but then, you know, that's uh, your job, frankly. Um, you can adjust all these paddings and things from the top, bottom, left and right, the gutters, all within the Divi Builder. And that button now says close me. There we go. And we can just as easily change that across to a right. In fact, no, let's make it a bottom. There we go. A bottom one. And let's see what happens to this one. Update. I think when you activate the Divi Builder, the, uh, the sections will automatically have a background color of white. So if you add a, um, if you wanted to add a background color to the entire slide, you'll have to set it on the section as well as the slide. Um, but that'll be a bit of trial and error for you to play with. Um, I've had quite a lot of success with it. This one here, for instance, it, it's a blue background backgrounded tray or slide in um, with uh, I've set the same blue as a background for the section. And it works quite well. But actually, it looked really good when there were different colours, to be honest. So uh, you can have a play. Here we go. Let's refresh this now. That should then move across to the bottom. There we go. It slides up now. We get this. There you go. Now, I forgot to change the sizes. Now, let's have a look here and see what we've got. Now, when you move to a bottom, the width and the height mean different things. Now, they mean the same thing. They're still width and height. But for instance... Um, width 50, height 100, so it's actually half of the browser wide and all of the height. Um, so that could be quite quite an effective uh, way of showing things. Uh, I prefer things to be all the way across, but it's entirely up to you. So if I now go ahead and change that to, I don't know, let's change it to 80% wide um, with 50% width, and I'll set the start position to be 10%. That means I should have a 10% gap either side of the, the width that's already there. And let's see what that does. I mean, frankly, I know what it's going to do. I'm just showing this is for your benefit, not mine. Um, now, what I quite like about this is you can have multiple slide-ins running on the same page. You can use the logic to show several on the same page, or you can use um, you can have one for the home page, one for the inside pages, and then vary them around the site. And it, it can be really, really cool. So I click on Unicorn again now, let's see what happens. There you go. So we've got a, um, now this will scroll if it, the content is too much, okay. So there we go. We have quite a nice little bottom bar there with the close me button showing, picture of our unicorn. Now it's a white background, so you can't really see what's going on, but uh, take my word for it, it's looking really good. So that's quite a nice one on the side there. I love the idea of having a, a contact page or something coming in from the sides. Now this plugin was released on Black Friday 2017. Um, I wanted to get it out that day, frankly, so everyone could take advantage of the Black Friday sales. Um, I will be updating this plugin quite a lot over the course of the next couple of weeks. Auto update is built in and your license is for life. So when you buy a copy, you, um, you get automatic updates through your WordPress dashboard 
um, and you benefit from all the new changes that I'm going to put in. Any suggestions for this plugin, do let me know. I'm always open to ideas. And uh, yeah, good luck with it. Show me what you can do with it. I really love to see it. Thank you very much.